I find one of the hardest things for for people who come to me in couples therapy to accept is the part of themselves that wants to hurt their partner. Look, I know that you're probably scared, and I would be too, but it's different now. Things are different. I'm, I'm different. You broke my heart! The part of themselves that's vengeful wants to get back at them. Notice how much better I'm doing this time? No cheating. I think I finally kicked that bad habit. Now I'm practically perfect, don't you think? Ow, ow. Well, that kind of hurt. What was that? I was just making sure it was on good and tight. See, the trouble with telling people what are the tools they should use to avoid wrecking their marriage is that they're only useful to the extent that one or the other partner wants to avoid wrecking their marriage. The problem is, a lot of times when we're not happy, we don't care. We want to wreck our marriage. And there in the middle of old Abu Dhabi was an old love, Aiden. Wow, you look great. Oh, I'm, I'm meeting Aiden for dinner. Why are you having dinner with him? How can I not have dinner with him? We, we bump into each other halfway around the world? It means something. I think you're playing with fire. <laughs> oh my god, now I'm playing with fire? All right, you've gone crazy. Seriously, you're, you're crazy in Abu Dhabi. Just because you're worried about your marriage, everyone's gonna cheat. Have a good time with dinner. It's important that all married couples find ways to bring that into their awareness of how they're living together and not make it such an unthinkable or like a criminal thought that I hate you, I want to hurt you, I think it would be great if you would die and I could marry a younger woman. You know, these are like the most ordinary thoughts in the world. And when we try to control them or get around them, I think it just pumps up the pressure in the marriage that leads to conflict and betrayal and all the icky stuff.